Hi everyone. Well, today's video, I thought I should share some uh, tea updates, and hopefully uh, this week I'll start rekindling back the MythBuster video series that hasn't been featured in a while. So, this is a true spider I'd like to share with you. Uh, this is my Veridaceous species, the Madagascar fishing spider. Really awesome, cool invert or true spider. <laughs> uh, this looks to be a adult female, pretty much full grown. It's staggering up to two inches. <laughs> and this guy right here, the Pocotheria hanama vila semica for um, Arachno Evans. Pretty much next molt uh, she's going to get the 32 ounce deli containers that I have. So this is Zafina. Kind of unsure of what uh, sex this one is. It's a little bit too young to sex at this stage. Um, hoping it could be a female, but then again, I'm not exactly sure. And just want to wait till one more molt to see. That's just very cool looking. One of the rarest uh, teas that I have next to the uh, Monocentropus Balfouri that T Story Spiders uh, gave me. That was an awesome one. Thanks, thanks so much. But the coup de gras is to show you one of my teas that just molted. And I got a lot of requests by some of my YouTube users uh, asking me what kind of uh, webs do tarantulas make and which of the species that makes the heaviest web builders. Well, usually I tend to recommend the Green Bottle Blue, the Chromatopalma cyanocubescens. Since it's an awesome looking tea, uh, very easy to take care of, and they web the heck out of their enclosure. But there are many more teas that do that. Not very many teas do actually web the entire enclosure, but uh, here is a good example of one of my heaviest web builders, even more so than my Green Bottle Blue is my Chilobrachys guanaciensis. Uh, this is the Chinese fawn. And as luck would have it, she molted. Now this is Julin. She is at approximately five inches, or maybe four and three quarters of an inch. This is absolutely one beautiful spider. And very quick growing too. Uh, two years ago, um, I did make some videos of this. Uh, she was about an inch. And now, look, she's like almost tripled her size. A very cool looking tea. Can be very defensive if provoked. But not so bad. Yeah, so... Thought I'd just share with you this uh, nice, cool molting video. Well, I mean, post molt video of my C. guanaciensis, the Chinese fawn, Julian. Oh, speaking of which, a uh, new feeding video will probably be on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday will be an, an awesome feeding video starring all my teas. Excellent. I'll have a lot more time to make some videos now that most of my work is uh, pretty much finished. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come.